So what is going on everyone, I'm Nebaf with you here, welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play Subway Surfers with a controller on your PC and let's jump right into the video. Okay, so there we go and I die. Okay, so jumping right into the video, it's going to be simple for you. Uh, it's uh, First of all, you're going to need uh, a software that is going to be able to run Subway Surfers on your PC and we're going to have to go to this website here. I'm going to be putting all the links in the description. So uh, you're going to, if you want to also buy Windows activation keys, you can also use this website, but we're going to just move to collections. Okay, move down to uh, files. We are going to be looking for software downloads. And uh, scroll down, what you're going to be needing is the software that is going to be able to run uh, a mobile game like Subway Surfers on your PC. It's going to be LD Player. So you can go ahead and download it. Uh, okay, Google Drive is going to tell you this file is too large for Google to scan for viruses, but uh, the file is okay. Just go ahead and download. So I've already downloaded and installed mine. You're just going to, uh, okay, uh, it's going to start downloading. I don't need it now. I'm going to just going to cancel this. But after it downloads, uh, it's going to bring two files that appear to be like this. The down, the DM, DN multiplayer and DN player, but you're going to have to launch this player. I've already opened mine. And the second thing you're going to need is going to be a graphics card. Uh, you can go ahead. Uh, you can go ahead and use the low low profile graphics graphics cards. Uh, these are one of the ones that I am recommending. I'll be explaining them at the end of the video. And thirdly, you're going to be needing a controller like this one, like uh, like this one that I am using already. And uh, let's go ahead uh, and open up our LD player. Okay, so immediately you finish downloading your LD player, it's going to have an interface that appears to be like this. I've maximized mine. Uh, you're gonna have to look for the Play Store and, and uh, log in your Gmail account details and then be able to download to download any game. So in this case, we're working with Subway Suffers. So immediately you launch it and you've connected your controller. You're not going to be able to play with your controller, but I'm going to be showing you how to mount the buttons in order to uh, be able to play. So you can see that when I press anything, nothing happens. Even when I try to move uh, the controller, because I've removed the configurations that I've, be, that I've been using before. Okay, so what you're going to need is you are going to come here to your... Uh, here with uh okay so we can we, we can use the uh the call the we can use the analog this is the analog the joystick okay and we can also use uh we're going to be centering the uh the button that is going to be able to control the hoverboard so just press a what we're going to do is we're going to map i'm going to be mapping the the up okay the upward button I'm going to press here, do that, and stop. Then, uh, so when we save and we play again, so you can see that when I try jumping, it jumps, but when I try going sideways, it does not go. Okay, so I'm going to crash there, and then, okay, let's now configure all the other buttons. Okay, bring this here, press the direction, and then play, just right, right, and then press stop save and we are still doing the others as well so bring the left button and then press I'm gonna swipe left press enter save and then we're remaining with only the the low button the down button sorry press the down button okay press the play button here also swipe down stop and then save Okay, let us see whether it works. Okay, so you can see that now we can jump, we can go sideways, we can go sideways, and we're able to go down, we can try to go left, we can go try to go down, right, 
and our, our burdens have been uh, successfully uh, mopped. Okay, so let me also show you if uh, you put the A button. Yeah, I have my A button here. It's the double top. Okay, so I can show you that uh, also the hoverboard can come out as you double press. Alright, so if you want to add any button to work for you, maybe at the sides here. Okay, at the sides here, what you're going to do is you're going to maybe get some some tape here and uh, maybe get a tape and then you're going to have to place it here on the screen where you have any button that you want to map. You will have again to go, for example, if you want to map this, you're going to watch video, you're going to have to come here and get the button. Press the button there and maybe press zero in order if you want to maybe use the button to uh, watch a video. Okay, if you save. So if we press zero, it's going to... Kill my okay. So we can cancel this. No, I want to close the video. Okay, that's how you map buttons with uh, buttons of your controller to uh, this this player in order for you to play subway surface with the controller. So we can go ahead maybe and play one more time. Oh, let me still get some volume here. All right. That is it. So uh, now explaining more about about the graphics card. The reason why I am going to be uh, uh, reduce some volume here. Okay. Now the reason why I was suggesting for you to go for low profile graphics cards is because you, they don't need power. They don't need any power supply for the from the power unit of your desktop. So if you have a, a very weak PC or it's form factor. You can just buy this in place. You don't need you need, need cables coming from the power unit. So these are the three options that I would suggest. Uh, if you have a laptop, if these can also work for you. You will have to. I'll I'll have to make a device of how you can connect these graphics cards to your laptop. So that is how you can play Subway Surfers with a controller on your PC. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.